Good evening. Yep, I'm still messing around with violets. Um, there's a lot of viewers on my channel who um, have grown a lot of violets. I'm sure I can tell by the comments and uh, I've actually had conversations with a few of them. And I'm sure they have forgotten more about setting leaves or placing leaves or whatever you want to call it, planting violet leaves than I, than I will ever know. I am just a hobbyist. I'm not a professional by any means. Was into it years ago and actually played around with genetics with him just because I like genetics. But um, I um, I set a few leaves because we had a you have to try out your crosses. But um, other than that, I really didn't mess around with doing that too much. Um, it can get out of control as you can as you'll you'll find out very quickly. If I sit down with a half a dozen plants one evening while I'm watching a YouTube video, um, you know at the end of it you've got you know you might have 50, 60 leaves real fast. So um, it's not uncommon to get that many leaves real quick. You know. I don't, I don't place them all. I have a handful that I place for reasons here and there, but um, other than that, I don't. Let me show you what you don't want to do, all right? Um, <clears throat> this isn't too bad because you see how the, the babies are coming up? They can get up. The leaves are set back. There's lots of space. They're kind of spaced out. Similar, but crowded. Overlap. It's going to be tough getting the babies out, tough getting the babies out, tough getting the babies out. You can see already it's kind of crowded now. I don't have a problem taking a spoon or a knife blade and popping, them, popping one out and you might lose one or two here and there, but you know you get so many of them, and losing one or two of them is not going to kill you. It's not going to kill you. See, that's a little bit better. You can see where they have a little bit more room to get out, a little more room. Once they get a little bit bigger, then I'll pop them out and plant them up. I won't get them up. I'll let them get a little bit bigger, but not a whole lot. There's some more little ones. These are a little bit of miniatures. You, even the little miniatures will come up like that. But um, I'll show you some of the light away so you can see better. But um, you see a little baby popping out there. This is tight. This is tight, but again, I can get in there and deal with them. No big deal. I'll show you a couple of really, really bad examples and a couple of oddities. Um, this is one that's actually growing out of the leaf. The leaf is actually a half inch away from the dirt. It's just growing out of the center of the leaf. Um, this is a, an odd one. This is one called Redoubled. It has a very thick, like a quadruple petal bloom on it. Real thick. It looks like a rose. And when it's combined with these leaves, it actually makes a very striking plant. But um, I have a little bit of trouble with that one. Have to watch that one, see what happens with that. Um, this is a little better because you can see how the baby has, is able to pop out. All right. Now, if you have a leaf that has a long stem and you bury that stem, the babies are not going to be able to get out because they're going to cut from the cut. They're going to come from the cut end of the leaf. Um, if you have a long stem on it, you can either snap off the stem and plant it short, or when you plant it, make sure it sticks out like that. All right. What I'll do is after I, after I tug on the leaf. A couple of weeks later, I'll tug on the leaf, and if the leaf is rooted, then I'll, I'll, with my finger or a brush or something, and I'll scrape away till I get down to the roots. You can feel the roots with your finger or whatever you're scraping with, and once I hit roots, I stop and leave it, and then very quickly after that, I'll get babies start popping up. But if it's planted too deep or there's too much cover over the bottom of it, over the stem, you're not going to get, unless you scrape all the way up and down the stem, so you get babies all up and down the stem, but um, you can do that. But um, the babies are typically going to cut and cut or come from where the cut is. So if you bury it very deep, they're not going to get out. So this is a little bit better. That's more like what you want. Nice little fat baby coming out. Now here's a good example. This looks, everything looks copacetic here. We got real pretty little baby coming out right there, variegation. This is one called um, Red Sun Rising, excuse me, um, Red Sun Rising, but the leaves are a little bit on the vertical side. They're sticking straight up a little bit. They should be leaning back. They should be leaning back more because this is what will happen if you don't. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. See the baby? The babies. Lots of roots too, but they're trapped. And on this side, same thing. We got babies back there and they're trapped. Now you can dig them out, yes, but that, that's not the issue. The issue is that while they're small like this, you don't want to dig them out because they don't have a very good root system. So you want to let them get some size to them. But while they're getting some size to them, they're all going to grow crooked. See how these are growing crooked? So I'm going to have to yank these out of there and um, let them get some size to them on their own. But uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Don't do that. That's a bad mistake. Here's another example of that, that same kind of thing. That leaf was put in vertical. This is one called Winter Smiles. It was actually just a half a leaf. It snapped off and I stuck it in there and didn't think about it. And later on it rooted and now, yeah. It's not that it's not that I can't get it out and plant replant it, but it's going to grow crooked because it's up against the back side of the leaf. Had this been tilted like it was supposed to or leaned over, the it has room to grow. It should make sense. 
Don't do this either. That's a mistake too. Um, little babies popping out right here. See, this is a little bit better. They have room to come up. A little bit better. A little bit better. That's how it should be. Here's a horrible mistake, but um, hang on just a second. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. All right. Now, <laughs> that's a nightmare. See that? That's going to be a nightmare. That that one leaf in the back. You can't. You can't even get to that now. My four-year-old granddaughter planted this. All right, so in my eyes, this is perfect. I'm not touching this. She checks on it every time she comes over. She's going to be over here in a couple of days, and we're going to take it apart. But until then, I'm not touching it. But don't do that. That's a horrible mistake. Yeah, don't do that. So either plant them yourself or uh, control your four-year-olds. Hey, anything she wants, she gets. So but there's a good example of um, more like what you want. Sorry about the sudden movements here, but... See how the babies have room? See how they can get up? So they can pop out without being hindered? Those are a little bit underneath the leaf right there, but I can work with that. But yeah, see they have more room? Yeah. Now I've tried um, potting soil, my violet mix here, regular violet mix, store-bought violet mix, straight perlite, straight vermiculite, straight peat moss, um, a whole bunch of different things. and. Um, um, the one thing I've noticed is when I'm using straight perlite or straight straight peat or straight vermiculite, I don't. There's not enough as much nutrition in it, and since the the babies have very fine roots, roots you don't want to put a lot of nutrition or nutrients in the mix. So, um, but I found that I don't get very fat babies or strong babies. They don't stretch out. They don't seem to grow as fast. See how these are growing real nice and thick and fat. Yeah. See how these are growing nice and thick and fat. I don't have any that are in vermiculite anymore. I had a few, and they just they just grew very very slow. So um, I stick with my violet mix, and I don't have any problems at all, as you can see. Um, again, I'm just a hobbyist, just having fun here. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are gonna, and I hope they'll chime in and give their two cents, because um, I'm sure there's some probably tricks to it that I'm missing. But um, only other thing I'll update on is um, let me slip this out of the way for a second. These. These six, and I'm showing these for a reason. Somebody asked, actually I've had several people ask about these, but somebody in particular asked about them. These are Miss Boots' Blue Angels. These are the project um, violet that we, that we had that we were growing out for um, my wife's mother who's in hospice. And um, we got six babies out of those two leaves. And the two mama leaves are placed, they're actually back in. They're producing more babies as we speak because they have a couple more already coming up. But um, they're actually back in the dirt again, and um, we'll get more babies off those again. But um, these six are going to be grown out. We've got a couple of nice ones um, and a little one, but that's okay. It's coming on strong. But um, they're coming on. They look good. They're healthy. They're growing. So um, it'll take a couple of weeks to get a little more size to them, and then we'll get we'll give these out and um, let some other people start um, start producing Boots's Miss Boots's Blue Angel and um, giving them out in in honor of her. Anyway, um, just wanted to show you some of the babies, what not to do and um, what we got going on. But um, everybody have a great evening and um, get out and work with your garden. Enjoy your plants. Have a great time.